So let's discuss. This is recorded again. So after this, this discussion, I'm going just to uh, edit and then add, uh, upload it to your canvas. So welcome to the course unit 3, the pillars and laws of traffic. So what are the topics to be discussed? The pillars of traffic, which is included to your assignment. And then the laws pertaining to traffic, RA4136 and RA7924. And the functions of DOTC, LTO, and LTFRB. So traffic, again, when we say traffic, it is the movement of persons, goods, or vehicles either powered by combustion system or animal drawn from one place to another for travel. Okay, mali kasi yung common notion ng iba. Kapag sinabi nyo yung traffic, agad-agad, akala nyo, eh, ma'am, traffic po eh. Kulang yun. Dapat, traf meron pong traffic congestion. Ibig sabihin, uh, mabagal or ganyan, masikip, or matag um, matagal ang um, flow ng traffic ko. Pag sinabi nating traffic, it is the movement. Okay, it's either mabagal man yan or hindi. Naintindihan po ba? Kasi agad-agad sinasabi natin, di ba? Kapag traffic, eh, ma'am traffic. Ayan. Ibig sabihin, di ba, mabagal or matagal yung transportation mo. That is wrong. When we say traffic, it is the movement of persons, goods or vehicle, either powered by, com powered by combustion system or animal drone from one place to another for travel. Okay, sige, mahina ang connection. Sabi ko nga, kaya nga ako nagre-record for those uh, students, di ba, na tawag dito, uh, nahihirapan mag-join sa atin. So, yun ang purpose ng aking recorded. Okay po? Again, when we say traffic, mali yung common notion nyo na pag sinabi yung traffic, yun yung kabagalan. Tapos sabi nyo, there's a traffic congestion, ma'am. Okay? So, clear natin ang mind nyo. Okay? Pag sinabing traffic, it doesn't mean mabagal lagi. Pag sinabing traffic, it means the movement of what? Persons, goods or vehicles either by po powered by combustion system or yun yung mga mechanical devices animal drone di ba or minsan sumasakay tayo sa sa horse or yung mga ginagamit natin such as the carabaos ganyan so from one place to another for travel okay that is traffic next how about management so what is management bakit po tayo meron traffic management okay let's define first what is management management is it is the skillful and judicious use of means or resources to accomplish a goal or an objective in short kapag sinabi skillful or judicious where uh, it is an organized diba? or um Organized way of dealing into something. So, if gagamitin natin ito sa traffic management, traffic, okay, it is a skillful of managing the flow of transportation or the traffic. So, in, in order to what? To accomplish a goal or an objective. Ano ba ang ad objective ng traffic? For us to have an easy way. Diba? Walang magkakaroon ng ganito. Traffic jams or traffic congestions. Naintindihan po ba? Okay, pag tinanong kayo sa school, ma'am, bakit ka late? Oh, bakit ka late? There's a traffic congestion po kasi, ma'am. Huwag niyong sabihin, traffic po, ma'am. Okay? Kasi pag sinabing traffic, again, it is just the movement. Next. What are the five pillars of traffic management? Ayan, di ba? Nakagroup kayo dyan. Kasi kaya ako ginawa yon para yung gagawin yung informational na yon. okay, is ipapanoorin po natin the next meeting. Since ang, tra ang topic natin is located dito sa traffic management. Okay po? So, it is an overview. So, ang assignment nyo, it is just a 3-minute to 5-minute video po. Ha? Huwag nyo mas masyadong i-exceed. Kasi lahat yan, papanoorin po natin next week. And next week kasi, yun na yung pinaka fine so, ang mangyayari niya next week, it is as merge of course unit 4 and course unit 5 since the following week after next week is your prelim examination. Na-receive nyo ba yung message galing kay Doc? Diba? So, yan. So, meron tayong tinatawag na 5 pillars of traffic management or tinatawag na 5 E's. Okay? 5 E's. Kasi lahat yan nag sa sa letter E. 5 E's of the traffic management. So, number one, we have the traffic engineering. So, what is traffic engineering? So, it is a professional practice of planning, deciding, and operating traffic system and road design. From the word itself, engineering, 
So we're talking ang um, ang dinidil niya dito sa traffic engineering is those the constructions of roads, constructions of stoplights. Yan yung mga dinadaanan natin. That is traffic engineering. How about traffic education? Sa so, traffic education naman, ito yung uh, protocols or yung safety education natin. So, it is the giving training to travel and practice in the actual application of traffic safety knowledge. Okay po. Next, how about traffic enforcement? Ito naman, we're dealing with the implementations of the enforcements of traffic laws, rules, and regulations. How about traffic environment, ma'am? It is the study of potentially disastrous populations, explosions, changes in urban environment, air and water, pollutions, and transport congestion, which results therein. Ang traffic environment, sometimes, it has something to do with traffic engineering. Kasi, di ba, sa traffic engineering, we are improving the lands, or we are improving the roads, di ba? We are improving the, uh, the flow of traffic. Ngayon, sa traffic environment, Minsan, okay, naapektuhan yan sa traffic engineer. Naalala nyo yun sa San Fernando. Di ba ang kinagandahan ng pagpupunta ka ng San Fernando to Angeles is madaming trees. Ha? Ah, madaming trees po sa gilid. Tapos ang gandang tingnan. Lalo na kapag yan papunta ng Christmas. Minsan sinasabitan nila ng ilaw yan or Christmas lights ba yun? Yung para siyang ano, meteor, meteorite na umi, umuulan ng meteorite. So ngayon, 'di ba, dati nagkaroon sila ng panukalang batas na gusto nilang putulin lahat 'yan, lahat ng mga puno sa tabi ng mga national roads or provincial roads. Why? Kasi kapag daw umuulan, 'di ba, or bumabagyo, 'yan ang nagko kung bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng power interruption kasi natatamaan ng mga kable or minsan na aksidente 'yung mga um, 'yung mga cars kasi merong nalaglag na something from those um, trees, 'di ba? So, yung traffic environment, uh, parang dito, parang pinag-uusapan natin the pollution, ba diba? Also, yung mga kung paano pa rin magiging safety sa, sa health natin, yung mga traffic roads. Next, traffic economy. Sa traffic economy, it deals with the benefits and adverse effects of traffic to our economy. So, paano naman nakaka-epekto yan? Ma'am, yan na po yung mga nagwewelga, yung mga jeepney drivers, ba? Diba? So, ito na yung mga sa pinagkakakitaan po. Okay? So, lahat ng yan, I will just give yan, yan nga, overview kasi nga, that is your assignment. So, kaya nga kayo, each group, you are divided into five groups and make an informational video. But don't you worry, kasi as we go along with this uh, course, eh, meron po yung sariling course unit. So, ang ginawa ko lang sa inyo is, ayan, para magkaroon tayo ng overview sa lahat ng yan. Okay po tayo doon and to be submitted yan next week. Next. So, let's start with the traffic laws, rules, and regulations. Ayan. So, the standard of regulating movements on roads, streets, and highways are found in traffic laws, rules, and regulations. So, in the Philippines, the mass of traffic laws, rules, and regulations have their source in presidential decrees, siyempre, executive orders, letter or of instructions, administrative orders, implementing memoranda, and other special laws relative to the traffic operation and traffic law enforcement. So, as a traffic enforcer, it is essential that you should be familiar with these rules and regulations. So, one day, for example, naging polis ka, and then, diba, na-assign ka sa patrol unit. Tapat may alam ka sa mga traffic laws, rules, and regulations, kaya nga pinag-aaralan natin yan. So, ma'am, katulad ba ng mga MMDA yan? Pwede, di ba? Any, any person or any uh, authorized person or law enforcer na nat-assign within the traffic, ayan, a traffic uh, position, yan sa mga patrol, dapat yan alam nyo. Okay, syempre, paano mo papatupad yung traffic enforcement if, di ba, ikaw mismo hindi mo alam yung mga batas na pinapatupad natin sa Pinas. Kaya nga lalong naglaging mayroong traffic jams eh. Kaya lalaging maraming traffic congestions eh. Kasi, kulang yung mga nagpapatupad ng batas or kulang sila sa kalaman. Or sometimes, pero naman silang alam sa batas, pero hindi nila pinapatupad kasi dinadaan sila sa natawag nating kotong. Diba? Nakokotong sila, ganyan. So, next. Traffic law. So, ano ba yung pinaka-source ng traffic law natin dun sa Pilipinas? So, RA 4136. 
Okay, always remember that we have RA4136 that is dated June 20, 1964 pa. So, dati pa naman, yun na yung pinaka-basic na traffic law na sinusundan natin hanggang ngayon. So, this is the basic law regulating the land transportation in the Philippines. It has repealed the Act Number no. 3992, the Revised Motor Vehicle Law. And syempre, as you can see, RA4136 was dated back June 20, 1964. So, kaya marami rin siyang as, uh, amendments. RA5715, RA6374, the other presidential decrees, and batas, uh, batasang pambansa. This uh, mandatory laws will be your activity for today. So, nung kagabi kasi, I decided, magpapakwisan ako sa inyo ng quiz number 3. So, I decided na instead of giving you quiz for today, ito na lang ang papa-activity ko sa inyo. So, you, you're just going to research the mandatory laws about the RA4136. So, mamaya makikita nyo yan. Pero ang i-discuss natin for today is the basic law which is the RA4136. Pero it doesn't mean naman na tawag dito, i-discuss natin buo. Okay? Yung buong RA4136 kasi baka kainin ako ng buong 1 hour tas ireklamo nyo ako sumobra na ng 1 hour. So there are just selected areas na i-discuss natin sa RA4136. But, sabi ko, kung makikita nyo sa canvas nyo dun sa course unit 3, kompleto po yun. Nandun yung law ng RA4136, di ba? RA9274, and the different um, uh, agencies, di ba? Like the LTO, MMDA, nandun lang yon. Alam nyo, ang canvas napaka-helpful niya sa atin. If you will be just yung super uh, maalam kayo or parang talagang nag-aaral kayo, hindi kayo mawawala sa canvas. Kasi sabi nga dyan, everything is provided to you. It is just a matter of reading. Okay? So, next, yung quiz nyo about this, okay, yung quiz nyo about this is ipopost ko po siya for the next meeting sa ating course unit 4. So, bago tayo magkaroon ng discussion about the course unit 4 and 5, uh, magkakaroon muna kayo ng quiz. Okay, so you better listen today and then just review na lang kayo bago tayo magkaroon ng discussion next meeting. Next, so RA6539, it is the known as Anti-Carnapping Act of 1972. And we also have the RA5448, wherein it is an act imposing a tax on a privately owned passenger automobiles, motorcycle, and scooters, or yung mga, ayan, ah, sasakyan na alam nyo, or yung mga sasakyan na meron kayo. Lahat ng mga binibili natin sa sasakyan, eh, merong tax yan. Okay po, kaya nga nagmamahal din ang presyo niya. Okay. So, I know the Anti-Carnapping Act of 1972, RE 6539, merong a mandatory law yan. Okay. Now, so ito muna. Before we go the RE, to RE 4136, I just want you to watch this first para malaman natin yung mga different types of vehicles. Okay po. The different types of vehicles. So, watch this one. Parang ang tagal niyang mag-play. Wait lang natin, ha? Yan. Transportation. Taxi. Van. Police car. Bus. Ambulance. Scooter. Mountain bike. Bicycle Baby carriage in the US, pram in the UK Motorcycle Skateboard
carriage. Fire engine. Crane. Forklift. Tractor. Dump truck. Cement mixer. Recycling truck. Balloon. Helicopter. Airplane. Aerial tramway. Tram UK streetcar in the US. Train. Subway. Boat. Rowboat. Okay, so yung kanina, okay, those are the different vehicles that we use in land, air, and water. So, some of those kasi, nakikita nyo lang sila sa daan, pero hindi nyo po alam ang tawag. ba? So, yun po yun. So, just uh, be aware of that kasi baka lagi ko yun sa exam, minsan image siya, then you will uh, identify what type of vehicle is that. Okay, Let's go with the important provision of RA4136, de ba? Okay, definition of terms. We have the first one, motor vehicle. Mom, what's the meaning of motor vehicle? Hindi po motorcycle, ha? We're talking about motor vehicle. So, when you say motor vehicle, it is any vehicle propelled by any power than muscular powers using the public highway. So, ito yung mga yan, yung mga nakita nyo na bus, cars, de ba? Basta any ano, vehicle na pinapropelled or pinapagana ng isang uh, muscular power or yung motor. Nga, di ba? Pero, okay, hindi po kasama dun, except, sabi nga niya, road rollers, trolley cars, street sweepers, sprinklers, lawn mowers, bulldozer, forklifts, cranes, di ba? Kasi nga, yung mga motor vehicle, yung mga ina lang natin dito is yung mga uh, vehicle na propelled by any power but used in public highways. Okay? Ibig sabihin, ito yung ginagamit talaga natin sa daily transportation. Kaya nga, hindi niya binibilang itong mga road rollers, trolley cars, ba? Yan, mga bulldozer, forklifts. Kasi yung mga yan, do motor vehicle din sila. Okay? Vehicle din sila. Pero, at pinapagana din sila ng power, ba? Muscular power. Pero, hindi kasi sila ginagamit for public highways talaga. Saan ginagamit itong mga to? Yung mga forklifts, bulldozer, ba kapag sa mga construction site. Okay? So, Factory, if... Factory, ma'am. Yes, diba sa mga uh, construction site nga. So, vehicles which run only on rails or trucks, hindi rin kasama yan. Yung mga tren, hindi po kasama as motor vehicle yan. So, tractors, trailers, and traction engines, and all kinds of use exclusively for agricultural purposes. Nakuha. Okay. Masabi lang natin na motor vehicle ang isang sasakyan if ang talagang use niya is for public highways. Okay po? So, next. Hindi po yan, motor, eh, hindi po yan motorcycle ha. Ang motorcycle is a part of motor vehicle. is a type of motor vehicle. Nakuha. Next. So, again, those are the different types of cars naman or different types of motor vehicles. Tignan nyo. Hmm. 
I want to buy a sedan. So which car should I buy? Do you know what a sedan is? A sedan is like this. It's just a normal car with four doors. Mom, bakit mo piniplay yan? Para lang malaman nyo yung mga different but car body types. Kasi minsan hindi nyo alam ang pinagkaiba ng sedan, SUV, ganyan. Pero napakahalaga yan sa inyo, lalo na kapag sa investigation. Okay, let's watch this. It has a front piece where the engine is and it has the, the back piece uh, where you put your luggage, right? Unless it's a Tesla. An electric car, lots of times electric cars have the engine in the back and you put your suitcases in the front. Okay, but normal cars are like this. Sedans have four doors and a hood area and a trunk. Okay, this is called the hood, that's called the trunk. Now, what if it only has two doors? If it only has two doors, then it's called a coupe. A coupe. Okay, so lots of you know, more sporty cars are coupes. Okay, so sometimes you can buy a sedan version of a car or a coupe version, okay, like a BMW 3 Series here in Canada or the US. You could buy it as a sedan or as a coupe if you want it to be a little bit more sporty. But then it makes it harder for people to get into the back seat, right? So. That's not that good, but it's all up to your preference. Okay, now this one is a hatchback. A hatchback. Okay, the reason it's called a hatchback is because it has a back like this. You, you open it up like that. It doesn't really have a trunk. Okay, this is called a convertible. A convertible. It doesn't have a top. Okay, the word convert means it can change. Okay, so, so convertibles can have a roof, right, most of the time, or you can take it back on a nice sunny day and you can go for a drive just like this and feel the wind in your hair. That would be kind of fun to own a convertible. How about you? Do you own a convertible? All right, now these kinds of vehicles are called vans. Vans. Right here is a, a normal family van. Now, that kind of van is often called a hippie van. A hippie van. Do you know what hippie means? A hippie is a person. Okay, so these are hippies here. They're sort of interesting kinds of people. Okay, like this. All of their stuff is very colorful. Uh, they love nature. A lot of times they live out in the woods or they live in a van like this. Look, it says peace on the side. So hippies are, are all about peace, loving the earth, nature, that kind of thing. Okay, now here we have a pickup truck, a pickup truck, or you can just call it a truck or you could just call it a pickup. Okay, it's your choice. Um, pickup trucks are pretty cool. Uh, now, another kind of truck is a semi-truck. Okay, this huge thing is a semi-truck or just a semi for short. You could say, wow, look at that semi. It has 21 wheels. Okay, this one doesn't. This one probably is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I don't know how many. These one, last ones, they're probably two wheels each or two tires each. Okay, I've seen some semis that have 21 or more wheels. When I was a kid, my brothers and I used to count uh, the, the wheels on the semis to see if we could find one with the most wheels. Okay, now some people say semi. So this word can be pronounced semi or semi. It's your choice. Most people in the USA pronounce it semi and a lot of people in Canada also pronounce it semi but I pronounce it semi. Okay now here we have an SUV. An SUV. This stands for sports utility vehicle. Okay it's sort of a cross between a van and a truck. Right? It has this back piece 
uh, but it's covered, okay, and it's it's more tough than a van. Okay, this is probably a Toyota 4Runner. Okay, so you can take a 4Runner off-roading. It has 4x4, four four, right? So it means all four tires are moving at the same time. You can go off into the mountains and, and do whatever you want. I personally, I would love to own an SUV. They're really cool. Okay, here we have a VW Beetle or just a bug for short. Very often people just call it a beetle or a bug. Now, we have a game in English that a lot of people play where if you see a bug, you punch someone on the arm and you say slug bug then the color of the vehicle. Okay, slug bug blue or slug bug red, slug bug pink. Okay, so it's sort of a funny game. I don't know who thought of it and then people keep score, okay, so if I, and it's the first person to see it, so if I see it first, then I punch you, slug bug blue, or slug bug green, and then you can't, you can't punch me back, so I won that one, and then we keep track. Very often if people go, are going on a, a road trip or something, then they keep track, they keep count to see who wins in the end. Okay, now this is a motorcycle, but most people would just call it a motorbike, a motorbike, or even just a bike. Okay, uh, here's a scooter, and this kind of vehicle is called a camper van or an RV. Okay, look at that. You can go camping in a vehicle, and you don't have to set up a tent. You can sleep in there, you can cook your food in there, you can use the bathroom in there, watch TV, anything you want, right in there. <laughs> you don't even have to leave. So what's the purpose of going camping if you just stay inside there the whole time? I don't know. So we would usually use the, the term RV if it's a big thing, like like almost like a bus. Some people have huge RVs that almost look like a bus. And if it's, a, if it's sort of smaller like this or smaller, then we would use the word camper van. Okay, so those are some of the vehicles that you... Okay. So, may tanong ba kayo? So, those are just uh, samples of vehicles. So, yung iba, uh, what is SUV nga? Sige nga, what is SUV? Yes, Clarence? Sports utility vehicle. Sports utility vehicle. So, some of you kasi, ang nangyayari, di ba, is... Nakikita lang natin yan sa daan, but uh, we're not uh, knowledgeable of anong tawag sa kanila. Or sometimes naririnig natin yung SUV, sedan, ganto ganyan, pero hindi natin alam anong type of vehicle ba yun, anong itsura nila. So, ayan. So, next, we also have the, so what we call passenger automobiles. So, what is passenger automobile? So, passenger automobiles are all pneumatic tire, pneumatic tires, vehicles of type similar to those usually known under the following terms. So, touring car, ayan, command car, speedster, sports car, roadster, jeep, cycle car, except, okay, motor wheel and similar small outfits which are classified with motorcycles. So, ito, okay, ang tawag dito is Coupe, di ba? Nakita nyo? Ay, ay, ay tama. Cu uh, I mean, Londolet. Itong Londolet, sorry. Ang coupe kanina yung nakita nyo. O, ano nga yung coupe? It is just a two. Meron lang siyang two doors, di ba? Two doors. Okay, two tama. Door. Ito naman, ang tawag dyan, Londolet. Nakita nyo? Ito, itong white na car na to. Ang tawag dyan is Londolet. Okay po. So, para siyang pick up na may dalawang ganyan, pero uh, style din na siya na parang truck. Ganyan, that is Londolet. Then, this one, ang tinatawag din natin dito is pwedeng convertible or, in much term, tinatawag siyang cabriolet. Okay? Di ba kanina dun sa discussion, sabi niya, it is called as convertible, but this one, itong mga yan, yung mga walang ano, yung mga walang parang pinakatakip sa taas, ang tawag sa kanya is cabriolet. Okay po. So, passenger automobiles are all pneumatic tires. Ang tanong, ma'am, ano ba yung mga pneumatic tire na yan? So, we have different types of uh, mo, uh, vehicle kasi na iba yung mga tires na ginagamit nila. So, when we say pneumatic tire, 
It is a rubber tar filled with air, under pressure, and mounted under the wheel of a vehicle. Ito. Ito yung mga talagang, uh, ito yung typical, typical tars na ginagamit ng mga different uh, automobiles natin. Nakuha po ba? So, yan ang ating uh, passenger automobile. So, again, all pneumatic tires vehicles of type similar to those usually known under the following terms. Ayan, except motor wheels and similar small outfits. Now, motor vehicles with change or rebuilt bodies using a chassis of the usual pneumatic tire, passenger automobile type, shall also be classified as passenger automobile. Sabi niya, as long as it does not exceed nine passengers and if they are not used primarily for carrying freight or merchandise. Okay. Ma'am, bakit po ba passenger automobile? Yun yung mga ginagamit natin taxi. Ngayon, sabi nga niya, if motor vehicles with change or rebuilt bodies, di ba minsan, uh, maraming uh, nagkakaroon ng parang pinoporma nila yung sasakyan. Minsan, yung makina niya pang ganto, pero gagawin niyang parang jeep. Di ba? So, sabi niya niyan, rebuilt bodies using a chassis of the usual pneumatic tar can be also classified as the passenger automobile. Basta ang chassis niya is usual pneumatic tar. Therefore, kahit na rebuilt ang bodies niya, kahit lumaki pa yan or lumiit, still, it is counted as passenger automobile. As long, sabi niya nga niya, as long na hindi siya ginamit for carrying freight or merchandise or ginagamit ng mga trailer trucks. Okay. Next, distinction between passenger truck and passenger automobile. So, a motor vehicle registered for more than nine passenger shall be classified as truck. Naintindihan po ba? Okay. So, um, uh, a motor vehicle rest registered for more than nine passenger, anong tawag sa kanya? It is classified as a truck or passenger truck. Yung mga taxi, ganyan, yung mga... In, in, Innova, yung mga seven-seater na sasakyan, therefore, ang tawag dyan, passenger automobile. Pero kapag ang laman ng sasakyan is more than nine person na, sabi niya, more than nine, therefore, we are counting ten person. Okay? Ten person and above, therefore, ang sasakyan na yon is considered as passenger truck. Nagkakaintindihan po ba? So, a truck with seating compartments at the back, not used for hire, shall be registered under special S classification. So, meron din kasi mga truck na, di ba, uh, hindi siya pang ano talaga, yung pang public utility vehicle, yung nakalagay not for hire, ibig sabihin private vehicle siya. Tapos, ginagamit siya as yung mga pang cargo, at katulad ng mga L300, di ba, yung mga nakikita nyo ganyan. For example, pang deliver ng mga itlog, yung mga ganyan. So, nakaregister sila dun sa uh, tinatawag nila Special S Classifications RA, under RA-4136. Malinaw po ba tayo dyan? Do you have any questions? So, let's continue. So, ito naman, articulated vehicle. So, it is any motor vehicle with a trailer having no front axle. Okay? And so, attached that part of the trailer rests upon motor vehicle and a substantial part of the weight of the trailer and, a, an, and of its load is borne by motor vehicle. Such trailer shall be, shall be called as semi-trailer. Ito, wala siyang front axle. Alam niyo yung mga napuputol. Di ba meron tayong vehicle na, tawag dito, uh, sabi nga niya, uh, ito yung sa likod niya. Ayan. Itong likod na yan, ito yung tinatawag nating uh, articulated vehicle. Bakit? Kasi parang tinudlong na lang natin siya dito, sa truck na to. Nagigets nyo na po ba yan, kung ano ang artil articulated vehicle. So, sabi niya, any motor vehicle with a trailer having no front axle and so attached that part of trailer rests upon motor vehicle as and a substantial part of the weight of the trailer and of its load is borne by motor vehicle. Okay po ba tayo doon? Next. So, driver. What is a driver? Sino ba yung mga driver na dito? Meron na ba kayong uh, driver yung totoo, ha? yung merong license? Hindi mo kasi pwede sabihin driver ang isang tao hanggat walang license. Eh. Meron na ba kayong mga license? Meron na. Meron. Okay, what is a driver? Sabi niya, a driver... Okay, driver shall mean, don't worry, Jericho Rosario, dahil sa subject na to, eh, talagang mapipilitan ka ng maging driver. So, driver shall mean every and any license operator of a motor vehicle. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. Kung hindi nga lang tayo naka-COVID or online class, baka uh, ang, ang finals natin is pure actual. 
So, sayang, di nyo ma-experience. So, virtual muna. Experience nyo sa bahay nyo. Okay, driver, driver shall mean every and any license operator of a motor vehicle. Again, pag sinabi natin driver, it should be license. Next, professional driver. So, madami tayong different type of driver. We have three. We have student driver. Non-pro and professional. So, let's start with professional driver muna. Though, meron din tayong topic about that. Sa next uh, topic, I think pang midterms yon. So, professional driver shall mean every and any driver hired or paid for driving or operating a motor vehicle, whether for private use or for hire to the public. So, any person driving his own motor vehicle for hire is a professional driver. Okay. Matatawag mo pa lang na ikaw as professional driver if, okay, yung type of uh, pagiging driver mo is for the service of others. Okay. Yung mga yan, cheap ni drivers natin, professional driver yung mga yan. Nakuha po ba? Kapag ang pagdadrive mo is ginagamit mo for hanap buhay, di ba? For as a means of your living or kinakataan mo yan, therefore, ang license mo dapat ay professional driver. Ma'am, paano ako nagdadrive din ako ng jeep? Pero sa amin lang yon hindi po for hire or hindi po ako pinapabayad ng iba. Therefore, non-pro ka lang nun. Okay, again, ang professional driver po is dun lang sa mga tao na uh, any driver hired or paid for driving. Okay po. So, meron ba tayong mga driver dyan na gano'n, nagiging sideline nila yung mga yan? Wala naman. Si Malta, ma'am. Ahem, ahem. Next. Owner. Sino yung mga owner? ba diba, may sakay na ba kayo? Nakapangalan sa'yo. So, owner, the actual legal owner of a motor vehicle. Kahit ba motorcycle lang yan, di ba? Or uh, sasak any, anong sasakyan. Basta, it is the actual legal owner of motor vehicle whose name, such vehicle, is duly registered with the LTO or the, uh, the Land Transportation Commission. The owner of a government-owned motor vehicle is the head of the office or the chief of the bureau to which the said motor vehicle belongs. Okay. Kung saan, kung kanino nakarehistro yung mismong sasakyan. Yun ang tinatawag natin mga owner ng sasakyan. Dealer. How about dealer? So, dealer, it is the every person association, partnership, or corporation making, manufacturing, constructing, assembling, remodeling, di ba? Rebuilding or setting up a motor vehicle. So, and every such entity acting as agents for the sale of one or more mix, styles, or kinds of motors, vehicles, dealing in motor vehicles, keeping the same in stock, or selling the same, or handling with the view to trading same. Yung mga nagbebenta po ng mga sasakyan, ang tawag sa kanila ay dealer. Kahit pa buy and sell man yan, or kahit yung mga legitimate na kanware sa Toyota, ganyan, or sa Mitsubishi, dealer po yan. Okay. Next, garage. Ma'am, mayroon po kaming garage dito sa amin. Hindi po yun ang tinutukoy na garage dyan. Okay, garage for the purpose of this law, just the purpose of this law, shall mean any building in which, okay, two or more Motor vehicles, de ba? Either with or without drivers are kept ready for hire to the public, but shall not include street stands, de ba? Street stands, public service stations, or other public places designated by proper authority or parking spaces for motor vehicles for hire while awaiting for soliciting business. Okay, yung mga garage na yun. Alam mo yung kanwari yung sa SM. Alam yung kung saan kayo nagpepaid. Ah, alam mo yung may pay parking. So, garage yung tawag doon. So, kapag kanwari ang garage is for use of personal, yan lang sa bahay. Hindi yan tinatawag na garage dito sa law na to. Ang tinutukoy na garage ng law ng 4136 is yung mga garage na hindi ah, hindi rin siya public owned. Okay? Pri private owned, but pero nagbabayad kayo doon. Nagigets nyo po ba? Sabi nga niya, di ba? With or without drivers are kept ready for hire to the public. So, parang nagbaba, nag, uh, sige, mag-park ka dito. Pero, uh, may bayad. Ganon. Diba? So, gross weight. What is gross weight? It is the measured weight of a motor vehicle plus the maximum allowable carrying capacity in merchandise, freight or passenger as determined by the Commissioner of Land Transportation. Ang gross weight, ito na yung kabuuan na kayang dalhin ng sasakyan mo. Kaya nga mga bitsan, di ba? Parang overloaded. 
So, yan yung uh, proper. Kasi each sasakyan kasi or each vehicle, merong uh, proper or right gross weight na naka-assign sa kanila. Next, highways. So, what is highways? Every public through fair, public boulevard, driveway, avenue, park, alley, and callejon, but shall not include roadway, di ba? Upon grounds owned by private persons, colleges, and universities or other similars. Anything na public roads, yan, highways, yan. Next, parking or park. Okay, what is parking or park? It shall mean that a motor vehicle is park or parking if it has been brought to a stop on the shoulder or proper edge of the highway. Ano yung proper edge or shoulder? Ang proper edge yung pinakagilid. Okay, kung saan nagpa-park ang sakyan. So, and remains inactive. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya gumagalaw. So, in that place or close there too for an appreciable period of time. A motor vehicle which properly stops merely to discharge a passenger. For example, huminto lang yung jeep, di ba? Para magbaba ng uh, pasahero. Or to take in a waiting passenger or parang magsasakay lang siya. Or to load or unload small quantity of freight with reasonable dispatch shall not be considered as park. Naintindihan po, yung mga jeep na humihinto para lang magsakay or magbaba, hindi po considered as park yan. So, if the motor vehicle again moves away without delay. Pero kung ang motor, ang jeep is nag, uh, nag-stay siya dyan, nang matagalan, therefore nakapark siya. So, next, tourist. What is a tourist? It is a foreigner who travels from place to place for pleasure or culture. So, nasa definition of terms pa lang tayo. Now, ayan. So, selected provisions of RA4136, munta tayo sa section 32. So, what is section 32? Exceeding registered capacity or overloading. Saan sila uh, nag-ano dyan? Doon sa gross weight. Diba? Meron tayong gross weight kanina. So, no person operating any motor vehicle shall allow, okay, more passengers or more freight or cargo in his vehicle than its registered carrying capacity. So, bawa, kaya nga nagkakaroon ng uh, kaso yung mga yan. So, in the case of public utility trucks or buses, the conductor shall be exclusively liable for the violation of this section or, or of section 32C. Pero hindi man nasusunod yan, di ba? Ang dami nga sa bus, eh, siksikan pa. Na, sino ba yung mga sumasakay ng mga shuttle bus ba dyan? Or parang um, teams ba yun yung tinatawag nila? Yung papunta ng Bataan o Rani? Di ba? Mararanasan nyo yan, siksikan pa yan sa, ano, sa bus. As in, di na sila makagalaw. So, pwede silang mak makasuhan dyan. So, all passengers automobiles for hire are required to have the registered passenger capacity. Lalo na siguro ngayon, no, dahil COVID. Diba? Bawal na ngayon yung mga ganyan, yung siksikan. So, mark plainly and conspicuously on the size thereof in letters and numerals not less than 5, cent 5 centimeters in height. Lahat ng passenger automobiles, dapat yan, diba, na, na for hire, meron dyan, ano, yung gross weight niya nakalagay and, or nakaprint sa gilid ng sasakyan niya. Ano ba? Red ship. Nakalagay doon. Kung gross weight niya, tsaka capacity niya. So, all motor trucks naman, di ba? Whether for passenger or freight, private or for hire, shall have the registered passenger gross and net weight capacities plainly and conspicuously marked on both sides. Again, both sides, di ba? They're off in letters and numerals not less than, again, 5 centimeters in height. Again, so, yung mga passenger automobile natin and truck uh, passenger truck automob ay truck passengers natin is kailangan yan nakaprint po yung gross weight and then uh, yung mga capacity niya naintindihan kaya nga di ba kapag nagpapa-register sila once isa yan sa mga requirement nila nilalagyan po yan next cargo or carrying devices si cargo. It is a passenger trucks may be allowed to construct any cargo carrying device at the rear or at the side of the truck. Ito yun, mga cargo. Subject to the approval of director muna yan. Provided, okay? However, that the total weight of the device is including the cargo shall not exceed 100 kilos. Riding on the top of the motor vehicle. Ayan, dito. Passengers shall not be allowed. Pero, di ba, meron pa rin mga pasaway, lalo na sa papunta ng mountain province, di ba? So, passengers shall not be allowed to ride on the 
on the cover or top of the motor vehicles. But baggage or freight may be carried on the top of truck so long as the weight thereof does not exceed 20 kilos per square meter. So, pinabawalan talaga na sumakay dito yung mga passengers. Pero, okay din na, uh, oh, ang okay sa mga ganyan, sa, sa top ng motor vehicle, is yung mga baggage lang. Okay, yung mga luggage nyo lang. Basta, hindi siya nag exceed ng 20 kilos per square meter. So, distribute, distributed in such a way as not to endanger the passengers or the vehicle stability. Kaya nga, hindi na pinagbabawal yan kasi madaming na-accidente kasi nga parang overloaded na siya. Next. Ayan. Riding on running boards. Ito, itong mga yan. Yan ang mga running boards natin. Rin, riding on runner boards, ba? It is strictly prohibited for any person to ride. Kanwari ito, kung sumabit siya dito, yung sa dulo ng jeep, yun, yun ang riding on runner boards. Okay? Kapag naman sumabit siya dito sa taas, yun ang riding on the top of motor vehicle. Naintindihan? So, kung sakin naman siya, pag dito sa mga gilid, riding on the running boards, it is strictly prohibited again for any person to ride a running board, step board, or mud guard. Itong mud guard, ito, yung mga nakikita nyo sa mga kadalasan sa tricycle. Diba? Sa gilid niya. Ayan, yung mga mudguard. Mudguard, um, uh, parang, para hindi lang tumalsik yung, ano, yung mga putik or basa na nare-receive ng isang sasakyan doon sa wheel niya. So, bawal po kayong uh, umapak doon. So, sabi nga niya, running board, step board, or mudguard, or his motor vehicle for any purpose while the vehicle is in motion. So, except for the conductor's collecting fare. Pwera lang, diba? Yung mga conductor, ang pwede lang gumawa noon na Minsan, aapak sila sa mga running boards. Next. Balik tayo doon. Required motor vehicle accessories. Okay? Under section 34A. Tires of motor vehicles. No motor vehicle with metallic tires. Metallic tires. Ayan, metallic tires. Shall be operated upon any public highway. Kaya nga, di ba, kanina, if na-consider nyo, what are the different uh, passenger or yung mga motor vehicle, hindi nila... Sinali yung mga bulldozer kasi may mga metallic tires yan, di ba? So, again, motor vehicles or no motor vehicle with metallic tires shall be operated upon any public highway and solid tires whenever you shall be sufficient uh, thickness to prevent the metal rims thereof from coming in direct contact with the road. So, kung kanwari, ma'am, paano kung ano, tubeless, di ba? Or parang, or ma'am, paano po if... Um, yung talagang ano ng aking uh, gulong is metallic siya. Pwede naman siyang metallic. Basta, meron pa rin siyang uh, parang rubber dito. Okay. Next. Brakes. So, we have different uh, different types of brakes. So, every motor vehicle with four or more wheels shall be provided with dual hydraulic brake system. Okay. When we say hydraulic, anong nangyayari doon? Water, di ba? This requirement, however, does not apply to motor vehicles equipped with the pneumatic braking system. Pag naman pneumatic braking system, they are using air. Okay, meron na kung video dito eh. Ayan. This is hydraulic and this one is... Yung isa naman is... Ito. Pneumatic or air brakes. Kaso, hindi ko na siya ipiplay kasi... 40, uh, mag-50 minutes na yung discussions ko sa inyo. Baka may magreklamo. So, i-post ko na lang itong video na to doon sa mismong uh, canvas and then panoorin nyo na lang, ha? So, again, kapag breaks daw, every motor vehicle with four or motor wheels shall be provided with dual hydraulic brake system. Okay, again, pag four or more wheels niya, dual hydraulic brake system niya. Pero, okay, however, it does not apply to the motor vehicles. Kapag pneumatic braking system na, okay lang. Kahit hindi na maging dual yan. Okay, next. Hindi ko na yan ipiplay, sayang. Oras. Okay, next, horns. Alam nyo naman siguro to, horns, ba Every motor vehicle shall be provided with a horn. Okay, lahat ng motor vehicle po should be provided a horn or signaling device. So, in good working order. Baka naman meron ka ang horn, paus naman, hindi naman naririnig, ba? So, however, ba that no horn or signi signaling device emitting an exceptionally loud, startling, or disagreeable sound shall be installed or used on any motor vehicle. So, all authorized emergency vehicles such as ambulance, ayan, police cars, 
and fire wagons, yung mga fire truck, kanyan, used for emergency calls, shall be equipped with a bell, siren, or exhaust well. Sila lang po yung may karapatan na yung mga siren, yung nakita nyo mga ganito. Naku ha? Sila lang yung mga kar may karapatan niyan, yung mga emergency vehicle. So, and no such device shall be installed or used in any other vehicle. So, huwag kayong magpanggap. Next, no vehicle not classified as a motor vehicle under this act shall be equipped with a horn or signaling device similar to the horn customarily used on the motor vehicles. Next, headlights. Ano ba yung headlights? So, yung nakita yan, yung nasa harapan, yan po yung mga headlights natin, okay, headlights. So, headlights, every motor vehicle of more than 1 meter of projected width, okay, yung projected width, yung lapad. Lahat daw ng motor vehicle na ang lapad niya is more than 1 meter na. So, usually yung mga uh, kotse, ganyan, di ba? While in use in any public highway, shall bear two headlights. Okay, two headlights, ito nga yun, isa, dalawa, ganyan, di ba? So, with white, one on each side, with white or yellowish light visible from front, which not later than, okay, tandaan nyo to, which not later than, one half hour, okay, one half hour after the sunset, and until at least one half hour before sunrise naman, and whenever weather conditions are required, shall both be lighted. So, kapag nandiyan ang sun, wala namang specific time ng sunrise and sunset, basta kapag before sunrise, dapat kung an hour before, half hour before noon, eh, naka-open pa rin ang mga, it is required na naka-open ang headlights mo, kasi medyo madalim pa, ba? At kapag pag sunset na, or malapit ng maggabi, ba? A half hour before is i-open mo na yung mga headlights na yan. It is required. So, additional lamps and lights may be carried, but no red lights shall be visible forward or ahead of the vehicle. So, wala naman kayo makita ang red lights dyan. So, sabi niya, trucks, buses, trailers, and other similar vehicles must carry while in use on any public highway during night time, ba? Colored riding lights on each of the four corners not more than 10, semi 10 centimeters from the top. Nakita niyo yung mga trucks? Yung mga ilaw nila, hindi lang siya dyan sa may headlight, ba? Katulad ng kotse, dito lang sa ilalim. Kapag truck yan, pati sa taas, meron po. Para malaman natin or ma-recognize ma natin na truck sila. Okay po. Next, yung mga, yung mga nasa taas na yon, ang tawag doon, it is just an additional lamp. Hindi po sila headlight. Still, yung mga nasa harap nito, yan. Yan ang headlights. So, all motor vehicles shall uh, shall be equipped with devices for varying the intensity of light. So, and the driver must dim okay, the headlights or tilt the beams downward whenever the vehicle is being operated on a well-lighted street. Kapag naman masyado nang maliwanag sa ano, sa daan, syempre kahit hinababaan mo na, di ba meron namang intensity yung mga light na yan? Have you ever tried yun? Ano nakikita nyo mas sakyan? Minsan, di ba, mag-high beam sila, ganyan. Or sometimes, uh, sakto lang. So, kapag daw, ang nakapag, ang sasakyan is nasa well-lighted, ibig sabihin, meron namang sapat or enough light. Therefore, it is advisable na babaan mo yung intensity ng light mo. So, within the limits of cities, municipalities, and thickly populated barriers or districts, or whenever such vehicle meets another vehicle on any public highway. Next, Tail lights. Ano yung mga tail lights? Ito yung mga tail lights. Ayan. Hindi naman siya talaga yung stop lights, okay? Ang tail lights, it is just a more design. So, a tail lights, every motor vehicle and trailer shall during the above mentioned hours. Or yung mga nakikita yung tail lights yung sa taas. Or parang yung uh, another lights, ba? Sabi nga yan dyan. Also, bear on each side the rear. A lamp show, showing a red light visible at least 100 meters from the rear of the vehicle and a lamp throwing a white light upon the number plate issued for such vehicle. Dito. Tail lights din yan. Nakita nyo, di ba yung mga, nakita nyo ba yung mga plate number tapos dun sa taas niya? Merong ilaw? Okay. Tail lights yan. So next, stop lights naman. Ano naman yung mga stop lights na to? Every motor vehicle shall be equipped at the rear or sa likod, di ba? With at least one lamp, which shall throw a sustain, ibig sabihin ng sustain, hindi siya mag stop hindi siya nag uh, be blink blink okay? Sustain bright red light visible under all conditions. So, even under the bright sunlight, when the brakes are applied. So, kahit umaga, 
pansin niyo yung mga sasakyan sa daan. 'Di ba? Kapag umapak sila ng brake, 'di ba? Pag nag-i-stop sila, talagang iilaw 'yan automatically. Okay, yan yung mga stoplights natin sa likod, dun sa rear ng mga sasakyan. Automatically yan kahit di po ano, kahit hindi siya gabi or kahit sabihin mo ng umaga, iilaw yan. Naintindihan? Every time na apakan po nila yung brake. Diba? Each bus, truck, trailer, or similar vehicle shall be equipped as its stoplight at or near its rear center with a lamp at least 12 centimeters naman in diameter with the word stop inscribed in the center. Kapag naman is mga truck trailer na, kailangan, okay, meron sila dapat na ganito. With at, uh, at least 12 centimeters in diameter with the word stop. Ibig sabihin, kapag umilaw yon tapos with the word stop na yon ibig sabihin, it is a precaution na mag stop yung truck. Kapag umilaw yun. Whenever, sabay yon whenever na aapakan nila yung brake. Kapag naman sa mga truck lang yon or trailer. Nakakasunod pa ba kayo? Hello? Nakakasunod pa kayo? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma naman kayong natututunan. Dapat, kapag natutunan nyo tong subject na to, talagang marunong na kayo mag-drive. Ano? Or alam nyo na yung mga basic knowledge. Next! Ah, oh, tignan nyo Tatakot to. po sa daan. It is just a meme. Ito, sabi niya. People driving with lead headlights, diba? Me literally trying to fucking see and not wreck, diba? Diba, yung minsan kasi... May mga tawag dito, may mga driver na pakakaano na yung headlight nila. Yung sabi ko nga sa inyo, kapag well-lighted naman, huwag nyo nang masyado mo i-open. Tapos nasisilaw kasi yung mga other drivers. Uh, yung mga high beam, sabi nga nila. Diba? Lalo na pag umuulan. Okay, lalo na kapag umuulan. Yan, required lang yun kapag umuulan kasi para makita natin. Pero kung kawari, well-lighted naman siya. Huwag naman na napakaano mo kasi kawawa din naman yung mga dagda-drive na kasalubong mo kasi baka masilaw sila, ba? Diba? And tingnan nyo to, I need this in my life. Bakit? Masyadong high beam itong uh, nasa likuran niya. <laughs> tingnan mo ang nangyari. Anong ginawa niya? Yung compartment niya, pag inopen niya, meron siyang light. So parang sinisilaw na lang niya yung nasa likod niya. So it is the, these photos are just a meme about uh, the lights that uh, using ng mga driver. Next, windshield or wiper. Okay, we have this one, windshield or wiper. Every motor vehicle shall be equipped with mechanically or electrically operated. Si ibig sabihin po ba, ma'am, merong windshield na hindi electrically operated? Yes, alam niyo yung mga minsan sa jeepneys, di ba, iniikot lang nila. Iniikot nila yon para continuous mag, uh, yung, ano, mag ano yung wiper. Hindi katulad kapag sa mga kotse, meron lang silang ibababa dito and then mag-wipe na siya yung mga one windshield or viper. Pero usually, dun sa mga jeepneys naman na walang electrically operated device, is iniik meron lang sa device na iikot nilang konti and then yun na. Mag-away. So, ano ba? Yes. Next is use of red flag. Nakita nyo ito? Minsan, hindi man kasi red flag ang ginagamit nila dito eh. Use of red flag. Alam nyo ba yung kanwari, meron silang biniling bakal or kahoy sa sasakyan tapos lalagyan nila ng plastic sa dulo? Or, di ba, parang tela, ganyan. So, use of red flag. Whenever the load of any vehicle extends more than one meter beyond the bed or body thereof, there shall be displayed at the every projecting end of such load a red flag. So, not less than 30 centimeters both in lead and weed. So, except that during the hours fixed under subsection C, there shall be displayed in lieu of required red flags, red lights visible at least 50 meters away. Ayan, di ba? Kapag meron silang cargo na ganyan, tapos sumobra sa sakyan nila, lalagyan nila na ng red flags. Pero sa Philippines, hindi naman na uh, sinusunod na la, kailangan red flag pla, pa. Minsan, ang ginagawa lang nila is um, tawag dito, plastic nga, ba Or anything na tela, makita lang nila. So, it is just a uh, precautionary measure na yung mga, para dun sa mga susunod na sakyan, huwag siya lang masyadong lumapit dun sa sakyan na yon, kasi nga, meron silang dinadala na ganito. Nakakasunod po, tata, nakakasunod po kayo. Yes, na lang. Next, muffler. So, every motor vehicle propelled by an internal combustion engine shall be equipped with a muffler. 
Ano po ba yung muffler? Ito, di ba? And whenever said motor vehicle passes through a street or of any city, municipality, or thickly populated district or barrio, the muffler shall not be cut out or disconnected. So, no motor vehicle shall be operated in such a manner as to cause it to emit or make any unnecessary disagreeable odor, smoke, or noise. Nagkakaroon tayo ng muffler para makontrol yung odor or yung usok. Diba? Smoke and noise. Also, minsan, meron namang muffler na alam mo yung maingay. Bawal nga yun eh. Kaya nga tayo nagkakaroon ng muffler para hindi maingay ang ating sasakyan. Yung iba naman, yung mga nakamotor, di ako nagpaparinig, pero ba diba, madalas, diba, ang nangyayari is yung gusto nilang muffler yung maingay. Eh, pinagbabawal nga yun, diba? Next. Hitching on a vehicle. Oh, under section 51. Ano yung hitching? Ito yung mga sabit-sabit. Diba? No person shall be allowed to what? Hanging, di ba? Or riding outside the rear end of any vehicle. Yan mga sumasabit na yan, di ba? Usually, maiinis ka. Ma minsan, di mo alam kung mainis or maawa ka. Yung mga namamalimus sa daan, sasabot sila dun sa likod. Or yung mga bata, di ba? Bawal yun. Hitching yun, di ba? Holding on to any moving vehicle, whether on foot or otherwise. Di ba? Minsan, ito, tingnan nyo isa. Itong nasa taxi driver. Naka... Nakasabit siyang ganyan, tapos siguro doon nakasakay yan sa skateboard. Tapos nagbablog siya. Or nagpipicture siya. Kikita nyo ba? Next, so driving allowing any person to hang on the right, outside or the rear end of the vehicle. Bawal po yan. Sino ba yung mga sumasabit sa jeep yan, yung mga walang pamasay? Diba? <laughs> Bawal po yung ganyan. Next, Eto, driving while under the influence of liquor and other prohibited drugs. Sino to? Yung mga nagda-drive ng lasing. Eto. Under RE 10586 Anti-Drunk and Drug Driving Act of 2013, it is approved on May 27, 2013. If the violation of Section 5 did not result in physical injuries, for example, nahuli kang nagda-drive, pero, okay, hindi naman nagkaroon ng physical injuries, hindi ka involved sa anumang uh, accidents, di ba? Did not result in physical injuries or homicide. The penalty of 3 months imprisonment and a fine of ranging 20,000 to 80,000 pesos shall be imposed. So, kapag nahuli kang nagdadrive ng laseng kahit na wala, hindi ka naman na-aksidente, or wala namang nagkaroon ng, or nag ng physical injuries or homicide, therefore, ang penalty mo is 3 months imprisonment and a fine of 20,000 to 80,000. But, sabi niya, if the violation of Section 5 resulted in physical injuries, the penalty of provided in Article 263 of the Revised Penal Code or the penalty provided in the next preceding subparagraph, whichever is higher, and a fine ranging 100,000 to 200,000. Kapag naman nag-drive ka ng laseng, tapos nag-cause ka ng physical injuries, therefore, uh, meron kang imprisonment plus, tignan nyo, ang fine mo is 100,000 2,200,000. What if, ma'am, yung nag-drive ng laseng, eh, tapos nakapatay siya? ba? Diba? The penalty provided in Article 249, di ba? Revised Penal Code. Kung ano man yun, siguro mga 12 years ang penalty, kanyan, or yung punishment, plus a fine of 300,000 to 500,000. So, kung ako sa inyo, wag na lang kayo mag-drive ng laseng. It is, uh, it is for the safety of everyone, especially you. Next, so the non-professional driver's license of any person found. How about naman to? Non-pro. Mga non-pro. Yung mga, again, kapag professional driver's license ka, ibig sabihin, uh, ginagamit mo yung, uh, nagda-drive ka for hire, di ba? Ibig sabihin, yun yung kabuhayan mo or, ginaga, or binabayaran ka doon. Pag non-pro driver's license ka, katulad ng akin, uh, nagda-drive lang ako for self-use, di ba? Ganyan. So, non-pro Uh, non-pro driver's license of any person found to have violated Section 5. For example, uminom ako, tas nag-drive ako, and then nahuli ako. Shall, be conf uh, shall also be confiscated and suspended for a period of 12 months for the first conviction. So, for the first time, for example, nag-drive ako ng laseng, okay? tapos uh, nahuli po ako. So, ang mangyayari, confiscate po yung license ko. And then, uh, for the first time long, yun, uh, for 12 months, suspended ako, hindi ako makapag-drive. And, kapag kanwari, for the second time, nahuli po rin ako na nag, uh, nagda-drive tapos lasing ako, therefore, um, talagang bawal na or hindi uh, na ako pwedeng magkaroon ng non-pro. 
Okay, kung uh, revoke na yung aking license. Naintindihan? So, wala, uh, mawawala na yung license nun. So, the professional driver's license of any person found to have violated, but if naman, if professional ka, di ba? Shall also be confiscated and perpetually revoked for the first conviction. Pero kapag professional driver license ka, tapos, ayan, nag-drive ka ng lasen, ito, kapag first conviction pa lang, Ito na, revoke na agad ang license mo. So, the perpetual revocations of driver's license shall disqualify the person from being granted in any kinds of driver license thereafter. So, mas masaklap kapag professional driver's license ka, tapos nahuli kang nag-drive uh, ng lasing. So, hindi ka na um, makakakuha ng ano, uh, driver's license. Okay, ilan na lang ba? Ayan, dalawang slide. Okay, pagtyagaan nyo na. Obstruction of traffic. What is obstruction of traffic? By operating a motor vehicle in such a manner as to obstruct, block, or impede the passenger of another vehicle is prohibited. Alam nyo yung mga kalat-kalat sa daan, ba? Diba? So, this prohibition applies even when discharging or loading passengers. Kaya nga, ba? Diba, kapag naglo-load or unload ng passengers, kailangan sa gilid. Bawal sa gitna ng daan. So, minsan, intindihin nyo yung driver. For example, kung pumapara kayo, tapos hindi niya kayo binaba dun sa mismong pinaparahan nyo. Kasi naghahanap po sila ng clear dito sa ano, edge ng at or shoulder ng road natin. Kasi bawal po silang magbaba at bawal rin silang magsakay sa gitna ng daan. Kasi pwede po siyang tawagin as obstruction of traffic. Okay? So, duties of driver in case of accident. For example, nag-stop siya doon. Nang ganun, walang signal. Oh, duties of driver in case of accident, in the event that any accident should occur in highway, the driver shall observe the following. For example, may karoon ng accident. Stop immediately. Bawal kang tumakbo, syempre. Show his driver's license to inspect in traffic law enforcer. Excuse me. So, give his true name and address, including that of the owner of the vehicle. Assist injured persons, diba? Take measures protecting belongings of passengers. Report the accidents and circumstances when a driver can leave the area of the accident without being liable for hit and run. Ito naman. Meron din namang circumstances wherein uh, iniiwan nila yung mga nagka, nagkaroon ng accident pero agad-agad umaalis din sila. Ano yun? So, circumstances when a driver can leave the area of the accident without being liable for hit and run. Kasi always remember, kapag nagkaroon ng accident, it is your duty as a driver to stop prehintuan mo. Pero, there are circumstances when a driver can leave the area of accident without being liable for hit and run. Ano yon? In imminent danger of being seriously harmed by any person or persons by reasons of accident. For example, oh, nagkaroon ng aksidente, tapos uh, pati ikaw na injured, tapos sinusugod ka nila sa hospital. Pwede yun. So, report sa accidents to the nearest officer of the law if naman umalis ka doon sa uh, vicinity of the accident, just to report kung ano yung nangyari. Pwede yun. And has to summon physician or nurse to aid the victim. Or for example, oh, may nasagasaan ka, tas umalis ka just in the purpose na mag-ask ka ng help sa physician or nurse. Pwede yun. Hindi ka, pwede, uh, hindi ka pwedeng gawing liable as hit and run. If your uh, intention naman is just for the aid of those uh, nasaktan nung, uh, sa accident. Naintindihan po ba niyan? Next, last one. RE 5715, an act amending Section 34 of Republic Act numbered 4136 or 4136. So, ito naman, lights and reflector when parked or disabled. So, ito inamend niya yung isang section ng ano, uh, RE 4136. Sabi niya dyan, lights and reflector when parked or disabled. So, appropriate parking lights, okay, or flares visible 100 meters away shall be displayed at a corner of the vehicle whenever such a vehicle is parked on highways or in places that are not well lighted or is parked in such a manner as to endanger passing traffic. So, furthermore, every motor, diba, every motor vehicle shall be provided at all times the built-in reflectors, hindi to mga ilaw, ah, reflectors na or other similar warning devices either pasted, painted, or attached at its front and back which shall likewise be visible at night at least 100 meters away. So, no vehicle not provide, provided with any of the requirements mentioned in this subsection shall be registered. So, for example, nagpa-park ka dun sa eskinita, yun na yung parking lot mo. 
So, kung ma madilim doon, it required na yung sasakyan mo is meron siyang lights and reflector. ba diba? Bakit? Siyempre, kung madilim yan, ba diba? Tapos, uh, hindi naman, siyempre, hindi naman gumagana yung sasakyan mo, nakapark nga siya. Therefore, hindi nila alam kung may sasakyan dyan or wala. So, kung kanwari, malaki yung sasakyan na yan, big, mabilis siya, mabilis siyang mag-dive. Kung wala yung mga reflector na yan, merong instances na matamaan or mabunggo niya yung sasakyan mong nakapark. So, hindi naman required lahat ng sasakyan eh kailangan merong reflector na tinatawag na yan. Kapag lang naman na ipapark mo yung sasakyan mo or lagi mong pinapark yung sasakyan mo doon sa mga um, not well-lighted areas. Naintindihan nyo po ba yan? So, do you have any questions po?